All right, get started in here. Hey, everybody. Let me get this turned down just a bit. Don't want to be blowing y'all's eardrums out. Welcome in. Sorry for the late start here on Sunday. We had a American football as well as family time, so a little bit late coming in, but also gives us all a better opportunity to take a look at like what this leaderboard is for most servers. I'm very curious to see where everybody else's points are for the server. Um, surely it's fantastic, right? Everybody's got... 40 billion points to just throw away, right? So we'll go through that. I have, I've not spent any money on it, but I did start, when I say start, I did do some of scoring, I guess. 13.7 uh, is where I'm currently at, which would give me enough for 25 shards to be about halfway to ransom. Top score on my particular bracket on this account is 29.6 million, which is not near as high as it is for some, but Apparently, uh, Epic and Chaos really, really want to go after this one. And uh, I did press the button to go to 47, but I haven't dropped any more besides that. At least not yet. At least not yet. JP says in their bracket, leader is 38 million, second is 30. I mean, a lot of people are going to probably go after these, especially after more and more seeing the power of these with power of the internet. So... Probably going to have seen a lot more people going after these, um, potentially. Now, nothing's changed for me. I'm still not supporting and, and going after it, but, you know, I'm just, when I say that, I'm not going to spend any money. So if I get one in a leaderboard, well, that's, that's one thing, right? So it's, um, it is what it is. I mean, a lot of people don't care about PvP in this game. I get that. But then there are a lot of people who do. I'm curious to see where everybody's at their bracket and if they're going for it. Trion says theirs is 13.8 mil, uh, million in their bracket. That's not too much comparatively, but I don't even know or remember rather what bracket you're in because Triana has been around quite some time. So welcome back, Striana. Welcome back. I have to get into the vibe. It's a little bit different for me to be streaming on YouTube at uh, not, at this time on a Sunday. So it's uh, throwing me off a little bit. But we'll let more people grab in the chat so we can answer as many questions as possible. Sadly, we did try to get this event changed the heroic milestone but they were pretty adamant that they didn't want to change it so good to see one life how are you doing mark says theirs is at 31 million uh that that seems pretty believable question from jason what's going to going to fix officer sourcing i don't see that as a problem honestly jason like in terms of everything that needs to get fixed in this game you have you still seeing nero and transporter patterns is i don't see that as really a big deal do i think that officer sourcing stuff needs to get worked on sure I don't necessarily know if that was like a big deal. I don't think that's a really a big deal. Is it Wednesday already? I wish, Matt. I wish, but it's not. Oh, Andy, your level 39 bracket is only 6.6 .6 million for first. I, I definitely see quite a few people, depending on what server, have been going after these officers, but Carol's going to be a big one. Freeman. And the thing with Billups and Ransom is they really need to get maxed, but... All three of them are good in their own ways. So it sounded like they had a plan for seven Neelix and Nano Regime. Do you still expect that? I do, Trip. I do. I don't know when they're going to do it, but I do expect it. So, yeah, it's consistency is not a thing with Scopely. So even if they say one thing, you can't guarantee it until you actually see it happening. So do I expect that? Absolutely. Do I know if that's going to happen anytime soon? Also, no idea. Also, no idea. That's what it's like working with um working with scope everyone build your sally uh no i'm good i'm going to use my sally for scrapping but that's about it use my salad for scrapping but that's about it here my ticket event real quick you can consistently open your wallet there you go 
There you go. That that's how we win Star Trek Fleet Command. Consistently open our wallets. There we go. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go here. I need to do my dailies today. I saved my dailies for the stream. Also going to um, run through some of these ticket events too. Since they have up the amount that a lot of things pay out this month. So you can consistently open your wallet. See, server 83, 51 through 60 is at 175 million. It's bananas. Sounds about right, forgotten. Sounds about right, man. A lot of people are um, investing heavily in this month, which silly to me, but I guess I see why people are doing it. But uh, that goes to show you, and we've said this a lot over the past week. I mean, we can complain and complain about things they add to the game, but very clearly, all these things that most hate are making a crap ton of money. So, what do you say to that, right? Like, what do you do with that information? It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. There's one thing consistent with Scopely. It's continually uh, frustrating the player base. Well, if the player base would stop rewarding them for that, maybe they would stop, but... They keep getting rewarded for said behavior. So I don't see that changing, honestly. Level 42, my max is 7 mil. Your max what, uh, Bearded? What is your max? You're talking about the top of your leaderboard at 42 is 7 million for the rank one? For going after Ransom? Shane, they get zero shout outs. That's one, he's not a CEO. Um, and two... Yeah, no shout outs. No shout outs. Rank one is 7 million for your leaderboard. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm debating on do I want to do any more research to kind of like push up on that or do I want to hold off? Do I want to hold off? And uh, I am not really feeling pressed to go after this leaderboard very hard. I'm happy to be where I'm at doing it. So I am kind of chilling, I guess is what the kids would say. Chilling. I just don't really feel the need to press too hard on that. I do need to finish my events and everything, but other than that, uh, for the leaderboard, I don't really feel the need. So, now oh, we're getting stream sniped today. Fantastic. I'm not even going to bother looking at his crew because I know that's what he wants me to do. We're just going to ignore the trolls. Go right back to work. Go to the BP purchase? I'll be honest, Marson. I hate that you did that. I really do. I hate that you did that. But it's your money. Spend it how you want to. I hate that people spend money this month, but it is what it is. The reason that we get the crab sandwiches like this month and we'll continue to get them is because people spend. So I was hoping this month people would take a, a time off, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Let me uh, go ahead. Oh, wait, I haven't done my pulls yet. Okay. Well, we need to go do our Voyager pull real quick. So I'm going to go down here and we're going to triple pull this. And I need to pick up. All right, we're going to have to do all those refines. I just realized I've not done any of the refines. How you doing, Tim? Good to see you. Good to see you. Is it just me or are the Star Trek Day packs especially bad? I mean, they're not especially great, that's for sure. All right, we got uh, Captain Troll over here hunting me on stream sniping because he has no life. And it is what it is. Oh, well. You know, here. Pretty gross. I mean, it's whatever. I don't care. Uh, again, I've gotten really to the point where I don't really care about what Scopa does in terms of I'm, I'm not letting them frustrating frustrate me like they are everybody else. I'm just not. But I'll tell you this. I'm very proud that I did not go see Scopely in L.A. I would feel like just a complete nozzle had I gone to Scopely on their dime and celebrating their game when they're doing stuff like this. So, yeah. So. You bought the uh, new ship, but the research is not terrible, and the refiners paid out pretty well. Very little effort. Again, Matt, you can do whatever you want, man. It's your choice. I was hoping people wouldn't. And um, I guess that's kind of like my resignation. Like, I'm not leaving the game, but I'm not going to ask the players to go one way or another anymore because it's very clearly not going to change. So, I don't know. I kind of want to stop fielding complaints. Like, I kind of don't even want to give negative feedback anymore. I don't really see the point. Players aren't going to change, so Scopely has no reason to change. It's just not going to happen. Oh, it's just not going to happen. Is what it is at this point. Took you this long to realize it? It's not about took you this long. I'll be honest, Adam. It's not about me taking this long. It's more about me being upset and kind of like, you know, like the players let us down. 
I mean, Scopely doesn't shock me, but I'm really shocked at the players for just rolling over. This is what it is. This is what it is at this point. But the game's still here, and nothing changes in that aspect, and I still enjoy the hell out of the game, and I, have, I will not stop playing every day. So, it's all good. If you don't get negative feedback, how will they know what to implement first? You're right. I mean, multiple things that we've given them for uh, feedback they've asked for have just turned into packs. So, yeah. Yeah, it just turned into packs. Yeah, it'll be all right, though. Because the game still at its core has always been built around the community. That's what we're here for. That's what we care about. So, No way. I'll just be honest. There's no point to continue fighting. I'll just be honest. There's not. What is the point to continue fighting? What is the point? There is not one. Josh? No, I'm not going live on Twitch tonight. Oh, we're going live next on Twitch tomorrow night. So. Yeah, Marson, we know that. And that's why I'm telling people to not do it. But you've already done it. So it is what it is. You're not going to come in here and like tell me stuff that I don't know. All the answers are bad designs for players to spend. That's the whole reason they do everything in the game. So anyway, it's just, you know, obviously I've changed in the past year, year and a half. You know, I can tell. I don't, I'm not trying to level up. I'm taking the game at a much slower pace, but I'm also enjoying the game now that I'm doing that as well. So, you know, if people want to play that way, they can, or they can play another way. And either way is perfectly fine. So, wish there was an obsolete currency exchange. Oh, same. I, I, we, we've definitely been asking for stuff like that. It's just... Again, it comes down to prioritizing things. And, you know, with that not being a revenue generator, it's going to be a little on the priority. I wouldn't be surprised if we get something like that at some point. But not on the uh, not on the docket for anytime soon, right? Not on the docket for anytime soon. Let me go ahead and clear this out. I need to get enough to do my dailies and finish out my summoning. So, the ability to sell any item in your inventory for latinum. There's some things that they'll probably never let you sell, no matter what. Even if they do in, in, implement something like that, you know, com, uh, you know, uncommons, rares, epics, probably never. But the commons, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like we've been wanting an inventory system uh, of some type. So, who knows? At some point, changes can come. Who knows? Let's go ahead and I think I got one more summoning. You're floating at 54. So I've got one in the upper 50s. I've got one here in the upper 40s. Got one in the lower 30s, 20s, and then my level 14 account. Those are all the ones that I currently log into. But uh, it does vary day to day which ones I'm logging into. I only have two that I probably log into every day. No, I got three that I log into every day, but not all five. So, not all five. Go up here and do this get our grind in this all right let me hit my uh, box and see if i got any extra loot because that was my last summon hopefully i got enough where i can get my pulls tomorrow okay i did i just want to get enough i can do my triple pull every day and let's go dock this and then we'll probably i don't think i can do a pull right yeah i can't do a pull for two more days we start going through these. It's like anytime Scopely makes us ground and content, they mess it up by disappointing the player. We change the SLB or stuff that doesn't work. I mean, Mike, the, the changes to the SLB this month were, you know, planned. And the, the primary logic being, Tim, thank you for supporting the channel. It's not to be a cadet. Primary logic being that these new officers are so valuable to the game in their eyes that you simply can't justify giving them away in a single SMS, even a heroic SMS. So they've locked it behind a wall. So, and um, I get their logic. I don't, you know, I don't agree from a player standpoint, but I understand why they did it. And again, it goes back to how much engagement you're going to get from it. I'm curious to know, not that they openly share this type of stuff. Sometimes you can ask around and figure out, but I'm curious to know what their reaction from the players are going to be like in terms of, did that have success? Like, did they get enough income from these leaderboards to justify that? I'm very curious. So we just have to kind of put our ear to the ground and, and listen for that. Say I need to go mine all these other ones. I've been doing two star too much apparently. I'm going to do these support. Today is Sunday. So I need to go do anomalous phenomenon. Y'all didn't even remind me. Look at y'all. Look at chat for getting to remind me to do anomalous phenomenon. 
I'm gonna go do it anyway. Because I need those speed ups. I need the speed ups. And if you're listening and you're part of a younger or newer server, we talk about one of the reasons you want to max out your USS Discovery, getting 92 days worth of speed ups each week with your disco. Matt says the big thing to remember without any spinning at all, they shut the game down. Yeah, uh, no, they won't. No, they won't. This game's going to go on for a while. Hey, I'm an old Trek fan, but hard to get excited for cartoon officers. You are too old if you can't enjoy that, Scooby. To me, that's really silly. Maybe I'll be that way when I'm older, but I do see it as really silly. Because they're canon. I mean, I mean, it's Star Trek. I love Lower Decks, but again, how many hours a day do you spend on this game across all the accounts you play? I mean, if you if you mathed out every account that I play and added them together as individual entities, anywhere from 14 to 24 hours a day, if you added them all together. If you added them all together. But again, keep in mind that being content creator is my job. It's not something I expect everybody else to do. So, Ibo says Lower Decks is a great show. It just gets a bad rep since it's animated. It doesn't even get a bad rep. It gets a bad rep from an older demographic for the most part. Lower Decks is very, very liked. I mean, it has great ratings and everything. But it, it's definitely, I mean, it's based off you know the animation style of Rick and Morty. I mean, it's it's catered specifically to millennials and younger. That doesn't mean other people can't enjoy it. But I mean, it is targeted by a certain demographic. And there's just there's nothing wrong with acknowledging that, right? It's just kind of like the animated series was very much more of like that Scooby-Doo mystery style of animation and everything, and that's fine. That's absolutely okay. One thing I love about Star Trek is there's a Star Trek for everybody. Like, I can't even say that about Star Wars, and I like Star Wars. I can't say that about Stargate, but there is a Star Trek at every level now thanks to Prodigy and and, and stuff like that. I guess you can kind of argue some of the Star Wars, but to me, Star Wars Rebels and Clone Wars are a little, still a little bit older, so... Cares of the people in the Star Trek uh, group in Facebook? Yeah, maybe. But I'm also part of that group too, Ed. So thank you, Scott. I really appreciate that. I appreciate that. What well, anno- annoys me about how overpowered the officers are and that the last three special ships are solid ships for taking people to G3, G5, and that's overlooked because of the pay to win in the arc. I don't think those ships are overlooked. Shadzy, thank you so much. Nobody's overlooking the... Um, Talios and the Defiant, are they? Nobody's overlooking them. I don't think so. Do you think people are overlooking them? Yeah, Prodigy when it was available. I'm really hoping that they end up selling Prodigy to something like Amazon or Netflix for it to get picked up, but we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Mad it's simple. Uh, multiple spending strikes have happened in Scopely games, and they've been successful, and the games have not shut down. So, it's one of the only effective tactics that a player base has against free-to-play style games. And as soon as they admit that that wouldn't work, they have no leverage. So, it's one of the only things that does work. Thank you, Jeffrey, supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. Oh, very kind of you to do. Thank you. Very kind of you to do. What can drop Delta Quadrant Board Coordinates? Uh, the 8472 Hostiles. The 8472 Hostiles. Level 46, level 49 has first place, which is 20 million. That's a little bit lower than I expected, Austin, because uh, being in the same bracket. Whoops. Wrong button. Top score for mine is currently 29.6. And I am debating on how much I want to try to like insert myself into that leaderboard. I'm debating. I really don't know if I want to go any higher than I have. So I did hit the button to hit Ops 47. Also took the Coronar to tier 6. So I've done a little bit of movement. I'm just curious... Or I'm just debating, I guess, on myself, like how high do I really want to drop in points this month? Because 
I don't think I have enough or I don't have enough to win. But, I mean, if I get a sizable chunk, maybe that is a form of win. Get a sizable chunk, maybe. I need to turn my daily events on as well. Top score for mine in Fortnite bracket is 13 million. See, Simpliva, I'm very... Are, by chance, are you on an EU server? I'm curious if the low scoring ones are more of the servers that don't care as much about PvP, which tends to be EU servers don't care as much about PvP as the US servers do. So that is definitely something I've noticed over the years is, you know, the, depending on what region you play in, you know, the, the feeling towards PvP can be quite stark of a difference. Let's see the lower decks. Let me see if I've done this event. All right, leg day, uncommon armadas, Cardassian armadas. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We can do that. We can do that. So Annie's bracket at Ops 56, first place is 123 million. Third is 95, which is relevant because you have to have third or higher to unlock once you've done the SMS. See, I was looking at that as well, Andy, and I just don't think I can pull it off. I guess I could try, but I really don't know if I have a, you know, any incentive or urge to pull it off either, right? Oh, so that I have any officer I don't care for and I'm sitting on my hands not spending materials at all. I don't necessarily care about Ransom as much. I'll be honest, I actually want to unlock Ransom more for me enjoying his character in Star Trek than for me wanting him because of his abilities. I just like him because I like him in Star Trek. Doesn't mean I don't like him in the game, but yeah, it's kind of like again how my game has kind of changed a bit in the, in the way that I approach it. It's adjusted some. I'm gonna swap this and get you out. Ransom replaces useless strike team officer. So, like in this case, Ikatika. Is that who you're calling useless? That would be probably who most people would refer to as the useless one there. So, saw Max Mayflower Freeman taking out a tier five Katinga. Oh, you saw you finally saw that one? Yeah, I've seen um, some wild screenshots, but that's the math. And I told y'all, like I warned y'all coming into this month, that was going to happen. Like I, I, th I was pretty clear that this month's PVP officers, especially led by Carol, are going to completely break the meta again, just like we did last year. And they're resetting the PvP officers now once a year, it seems. And that way they can push them with these higher price points. Because if you take a look at like the Star Trek day packs and, and the special packs for this month and the ones that they're dropping, I mean, they're clearly showing that, you know, we talk about epics being worth, you know, $400 just straight. If you take a look at it, what they're valuing a lot of these epics at now, significantly higher. So it's, um, I guess the meta's working. Guess meta is working. You saw Killy in G5? Yeah, <laughs> that's been funny seeing Lorca, Killy, on a guard wharf trying to make a return. Obviously not, you know, the, the utmost effective crew, but still a classic crew that we've used for a long, long time. Put that up there and then grab, oh, Sharvnik. Okay, there she is. It was like, did I have Sharvnik somewhere else? And then health and nearest health officer, Ortegas. That's not good enough. I'll just use Carol. I want to get at least 2,000. Was the last heroic SMS 28.8 top bracket? If you're asking, the bracket milestones are the same as they were last month, but the amount that you're getting paid out was significantly reduced. So the milestones are the same as last month, but the amount that you're getting was significantly reduced on purpose so that there wasn't a full unlock of ransom. So... You are seeing the same heroic SMS. You're just not getting as much in terms of rewards from it. You're not getting as much in terms of rewards from that. You know, it's, um, is what it is, I guess. I mean, kind of decide for yourself what you think about that. But I did push for that really hard yesterday. I actually made this post in uh, discord kind of apologizing everybody. Cause myself, DJ, et cetera, we did push really hard for that. And, if y'all missed it, again, I talk about reasons to be in the Discord. One of the reasons is not only are we talking new games, I actually have some Star Trek Infinite news to break tomorrow, but also for seeing things like this that maybe you might not necessarily get to see when we pop off this news and let y'all know what the devs are saying. And uh, I did include one of my favorite little 
gifs from one of my favorite movies because well they didn't give us the answer that we were looking for but myself ultimate dj especially the, the moderators shout out to them argued for it and they said no so they said let no People are always surprised to find out how their assumptions, their own player base, the crew Bethesda were caught flat-footed by how much cooperation helped the average Fallout 76 player was. I didn't play Fallout 76. So I can't say anything. I am playing Starfield and enjoying it. So, sub says this SMS is pretty yucky. Again, the the whole point was they wanted to scale down the rewards so that you couldn't fully unlock by hitting 28.8 million. They want the price of these officers to be significantly higher. They want people to spend more money on packs for materials, stuff like that, to accrue them. That's kind of the plan. So, and then you can just choose as a player, do you engage with that or do you not engage with that, right? Going to Star Trek Infinite, is there a big advantage to getting the Deluxe Edition? If you get the Deluxe Edition, one, you're giving more money to, in my opinion, a fantastic creator. Two, you're going to be able to unlock the USS Cerritos, you won't get it any other way in the game. You also get a Klingon voice uh, a voice pack that was created and just like fully approved by the Klingon Learning Institute. So you're talking about legitimate Klingon in the game, like custom legitimate Klingon for the game. That's only part of the deluxe edition, which I think is really cool for Infinite. But yeah, there's a couple of neat things. A couple of neat things. Why has Scopa not done a special ultra recruit token chest pack in months? Are you talking about uh, what what's what pack specifically are you talking about, JF? What pack specifically are you talking about? Got to do my pulls here. If I miss anything, oh, got to get this one. That's critical. Platinum. I do have a latinum pull. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. General recruit using ultras. The reason they don't run ultra recruit events is because people have too many of them, and. Um, that's the answer. That's the answer. People have too many of those saved up. They did just run some a couple months ago, but that's the general sentiment of why it's so difficult to get them to do that is because players have too many. And see, that's why we bring cloaked ships. That's why we bring cloaked ships. But they have revenue projections. They'll miss them again. We'll see, Greg. I have no idea if they're going to miss the revenue projections. We just have to wait and see. I feel like, especially with Six Star coming out, I mean, there are going to be people who buy into Six Star just because of Six Star. So, for people to buy in that just because of Six Star. Ooh, I get to solo this. That's going to be uh, difficult. Any weather weather make the Swarm Sunday rewards any better? I mean, they're working on the Gethsemane, but it's not a focal point. It's something that's being worked on, kind of like it's a side project. So, I mean, it is being done, but it's not something that is like high priority, get it done by X date. It's a work on it as you can. So, Griffin says, over on majority of players have been watching stuff. You can't organize a whole player base to make the kind of change. Well, I mean, Griffin, I reach any, depending on the month, 20, anywhere from 15 to 25 percent of the players. I mean, that's a pretty significant amount. And if you talk about which of those players then can speak out to their alliance, that's a pretty significant portion of the the player base. It's not like in other games where content creators, you know, they'll make reach two percent of the player base, right? You know, like last month, this channel alone was like 75,000 people, uh, individuals. So, I mean, it's, um, it really comes down to players themselves, you know, at what level is that fed up actually fed up, you know? And I am only one guy to be very clear. Like it takes a group effort, but at the same time, I can certainly have a significant impact depending on how much the community follows. So, 
So let them change pull outs and ultra tokens. And most players, the main new officers maxed out from the ultra, add new officers, pull out some. Uh, what I really would like them to do, Marston, is actually launch a separate ultra pack, similar to like what they do in Crucible of War, so that the dilution of the ultras is lessened up a bit. Because you can't just change it because, you know, you look at... Um, As you look at new servers like 97 and 102, I mean, they don't need the ultras chest to change, and it'd be very complicated to try to run multiple versions of something for different servers. So, yeah. Here's my last not uh, do anything this month from looking at the Lions gifts. They've mainly only gone after the BP, which is better than a normal month, but not what I was hoping for. You just wait and see what happens, right? You know, I know quite a few high spenders who are completely ignoring this month that normally wouldn't. So even if their revenue has only dropped 10, 15%, anything that's a noticeable number is a noticeable number. So just kind of wait and see what ends up happening. And you're right, Moon Knight. FOMO is huge. Sunk cost fallacy and fear of missing out are huge concepts that this game bakes around. You know, people ask, well, why does this game not put more effort into bug fixes and quality assurance and stuff like that? Well, simple, because they know that what keeps people playing is not the stability of the game. What keeps people playing is not, you know, quality of life additions. What keeps them playing is fear of missing out and the sunk cost fallacy for those who are already so deep in, they feel like they have no other choice. That's, you know, one of the other reasons why they don't have so many, you know, people dedicated to bug fixes. They don't need to, right? I mean... That's how they see it. Will there be a Rialta when six star comes out? There's already a Rialta. You mean a Rialta A? There is no Rialta A that I'm aware of. Uh, I have gotten to see some of the ships coming out for G6. I don't know of a Rialta A, but that doesn't mean anything. I don't know everything. So, I don't know everything. Sean, uh, you love, let's go big blue. Blue uh, pulled out. I watched the Saints and watched a little bit of the Denver game. But I haven't gotten to watch all of them. What do you think of the new PvP officers? I'm ignoring them, Zulu. I'm ignoring them. Can you drop date hints for G6? Nope. I'll just tell you the same thing I've been telling you all year. Coming soon. I expected it in uh, you know quarter four. So. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get more of these chats in. Yeah. You know, I can't tell you, Sub, when it is, but I've been telling y'all for a while when it is. You know, I've been at least a rough idea. I've been pretty consistent all year long about when G6 is going to drop. So nothing's changed that I'm aware of. Expect it soon. If they uh, decide to change, I would actually be really shocked if G6 doesn't roll out this year. If for no other reason than G6 is easily something that you could project making this game like just the launch of g6 could make this game 20 million dollars just the launch of it so it'd be really hard to see them not rolling it out this year and using that to boost quarter four numbers so yeah If you're not a spender in this game, and your sole purpose for existence is to be farmed out for players to spend money, well, I mean, your sole existence is to enjoy the game, right? You know, it's... I fight 60s all the time, and it doesn't bother me, right? You just find ways around it. You just find ways around it. So, like, I'm essentially soloing this armada because I want to. I just cloak and use stuff like that to my advantage. You find ways around to stay competitive, be competitive. Strategy really kicks in. If you're going to be a light spender or free to play, you need to lean heavy into learning the game, strategizing, or you can end up being very frustrated. So, yeah. Hearing Wells are walking away from the game in noticeable numbers. We'll see, Sean. I mean, I know quite a few 60s that have stepped away. And there were only about 460-ish 60s in the game as it was. And, you know, there's definitely a expectation and reliance for the 60s, 59s, etc. To, um, to pull the weight in terms of, like, how much income this game makes. I mean, there are, in the top 50 players, like the top highest level players, 
I think there's three this past week in the top 50. So we're not at the top. If you're the top player in power, you can get a general idea that you're probably in the top of spending. Well, three in the top 40 are done. Like they dropped it. They dropped alliances. They're not doing anything. Maybe they come back. Maybe they don't. But that's three of your top 40 just in the, in the span of a week fell off. And that doesn't count any of the others that have just completely stopped spending or gotten frustrated inside that top 50. I mean, I know, you know, the, the high levels in my alliance since yesterday, 10 packs purchased. I mean, and most of it's all one person, Jedi. And he's not even our top player. You know, anytime that we have an art drop on my server, a lot of times you can see a hundred, you know, a hundred different packs in a day for a week straight and more. So I'm just curious to see what it ends up, you know, panning out to show. We'll see. We'll see. But we have three or four 60s who have quit on server 35. Yeah. And uh, again, I was just pulling up the first page. Like I can go down the leaderboard and see, see if page, let's see. Well, there's another one right there. That was from server 34 who has dropped alliances and tags. We've got one, two, three, four on this page. Click another page. I'm still just talking about 60s. There's another one right there. And again, you know, dropping tags three on that page, four, I'm sorry, on that page. Dropping tags doesn't necessarily mean they're completely gone, but I mean, it's usually a good indication that they've at least stepped away and they're very upset. So we wait and see. We wait and see. They said it's supposed to be animation based for the rest of the year. Therefore, we're getting the uh, animated series. They're one of the G four, uh, six ships would be Giant Spock. Yes, Dr. Juby. He must have Giant Spock. And he must have nothing but Spock's on Giant Spock. We are the Giant Spock gang. We are. Top player in the game is on server 26. So the top player usually by power is Huck. Huck was the first player to hit 600 million. And he's probably the player that can take his power the highest if he goes full loadout. But there are, I think, four people now who are in that 600 million range. Hulk was the first. He got there a couple weeks ago. And there are a couple people who are in that range. So. so what really are the whales losing by scopely not level locking their new stuff? That's frustrating for me the most. I mean, the goal is level locks force you to level up which brings you closer and closer to the premium area of the game which is spending so let me go ahead and upgrade these officers i was going to do that earlier and i completely forgot we got in here and i ended up doing something else let me come down here we got to upgrade some officers let's see we'll do this one yeah because money my money you want the mr crabs one Money, 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 money. There you money. go. There's your Mr. Krabs. There's your Mr. Krabs. Oh, he's at the top of the ransom SLB. So he's maxing out some more G5 epics on top of his already maxed out ones. Yeah, make sure. Yeah. So it means to fix was broken before adding anything else. They won't do that, Bernard. Fixes don't uh, make money. Fixes don't make money. Like, I thought it was hilarious that this month they released essentially a triple paywall because you had primes paywalled you had features paywalled you have officers paywalled and then they had three total fixes that rolled through this month we've had months this year which to scope which credit have had 30 or 40 fixes in the uh the patch this one had three i was like wow that's um absurdly low but curious what next month brings right as scopely is keen to say they have a plan they have a plan what ops is the top free to play um 53 although i did talk to deck because he's talking about quitting the game now um but there are actually multiple free-to-play players in the early 50s but nobody's are in like the 55 56 range deck might have gone to 54 but there's nobody in like 56 57 58 early early 50s nobody's a plan but is it a good plan i mean it's designed to be a good plan for them and we'll see so I will say this, man, and I, I stick to my warning. A lot of these things where, you know, you get something that comes out, an officer, uh, you know, an FT, et cetera, that's amazing for a month. 
Don't expect it to stay amazing. You're going to make that cash on that item and then move on to the next one. That's been like the theme all year long. So that's been their theme all year. Let's see, what have we got on our dailies? Click, click, click. There's lots of things we need to go click through now. Is Scopely even listening to the content creators and or player base at this point? It doesn't feel like it. On some things, they do listen. On some things, they do not listen. I would say the area that everybody, myself, DJ, modders, etc., have the least amount of influence on is long-term game design. Absolutely, we have the least amount of influence on. The things that we have the most amount of influence on are the day-to-day -day things. Event structure, ops, um, getting things available to free to play at an everyday type basis. Those we probably have the most amount of influence on. I remember what has it been four years ago now, three years ago. I remember getting asked, Hey, how should the enterprise D be made into the game? And my pitch was the enterprise D should be a scaling ship that goes from like level 34 up to level 60. And they said no. They just made it the level 60 ship. But if you notice, they ended up making that strategy and up adopting the same paradigm for a lot of the specialty ships. I'm not saying that Rev's the reason that you have specialty ships that like the Voyager that go up to, you know, and like the Pickle that go up to level 60. But I am saying that some of those ideas get thrown into the mash and something might come out years down the road. But in terms of like what me and DJ can go and influence, been plenty of times where we said, hey, you shouldn't do this. This is a bad idea. And then it still happened months later. You're just, you're, you're not going to change a lot of their long-term visions that is on their roadmap. But you can maybe alter things that are small, event payouts and economy fixes and quality of life improvements. And all those things, you know, moderators and content creators can have, I think, a pretty good amount of influence on. But are we stopping them from making... Game breaking officers? No, that's gonna happen no matter what. Any chance they're making my ceiling or data nodes bigger? I'll be honest, Aaron, not a good chance because we've asked for that specifically for years. But I do think it's something that we should continually bring up, right? Like I bring up the hostile harbinger and the faction allegiance dailies needing to count for X or uh, research, the sweeps, especially this one because it literally says Federation, Romulan, and Klingon faction ships. And I will remind them until it finally clicks in and eventually we'll have this counting for sweeps. But right now it's one of those kind of been tabled and we got to work for it. All right, Tim, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you seeing or appreciate seeing you. I appreciate you being here. So, but there are definitely things that we can give feedback on and see change, but there, I also don't want to like tell y'all, Hey, G6, we're, we're going to make it player friendly because it's not going to be player friendly. I'm just go ahead and tell you right now. If you want to be part of G6, you get ready to spend a lot of money. And nothing that myself or a content creator can say is going to change that. Not going to happen. Well, that's the thing, Fonzica. I mean, is Eco wrong? No, Eco's not wrong. It is month one. And there is a plan. The plan sucks. The plan's first month revolves around keeping the players dark and in, in ignorant so they don't know what's coming, thus trying to get them to spend money. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is even though there is a plan, the plan is still resetting the entire game. Example, these PvP officers. I mean, so no matter what, the plan is very much made to keep players in the dark and incentivize heavy spending by you know, preying on ignorance and FOMO. At the end of the day, that's my biggest gripe. It's not like this month that we've had is this new strategy that Scopely is implementing. You just reach a point where it gets so like egregious and starts interfering with the game to a degree more than what it was doing before that you know players tend to get more frustrated and start to speak out more. So, my opinion, it's not that the game is expensive for those players, it's that all the content that they are releasing is old hat, all the same boring stuff. That is also a big complaint in the VIP room. You know, the VIPs are more than willing to spend on a lot of things. But they're getting bored because the game is not giving them anything really fun to do. So you're also running into that problem. This is the most blatant it's ever been. I would say it's pretty damn blatant. Yeah, the... The, the amount of running a single item only to make it useless months later so that you can then make the same dollar twice, essentially... I think it's pretty hard for anybody to miss it, but 
where we're at. He boils down to, hey, if you could just scale back your overwhelming greed like 10%, that'd be cool. We've also been saying that forever, right, Gethsemane? Hey, 10,000 transporter patterns. That was nice. So, the Monovine loop is so much like the Voyager loop. Yeah, there's a lot of copy and paste. Now, I will say this. Shout out to the Pickle. The Pickle's loop is not as ridiculous as the Voyager's. That is something that you can talk about being kind of like a feedback point. It's not two different hostiles, or technically three different hostiles of Voyager, two different mining nodes. I mean, it's it's a one-to-one, one-to-one. And I appreciate that they didn't go overboard with that. I really do. I do appreciate that. You think G5 will change it all when G6 comes out? I mean, G5's already changing. The G4 economy and the G5 economy have both been significantly reduced over the past few months and years. The most recent uh, addition of the changing for the five star is the new research extension tree, which is not super expensive to get into and has really significant reduction. They're already prepping that like the, the writing is very clearly on the wall for G6 and you don't need a content creator to tell you that, right? Y'all can see it for yourselves. I mean, they're very clearly working up to it. And that's the whole point of the new research to greatly lower a lot of the research costs and the building costs. But I mean, they're still not going to be amazing. Just like when five star came out, four star didn't instantly become amazing. It just became better, right? And now we're at a point where you can very easily free to play into the forties and you don't feel a problem at all besides ship parts, really. You're going to have that slowly be how it is in five star. You know, the, the idea of getting a Vorchar right now is almost impossible for most free to play players. But by the same time next year, you're going to have free to play players who have Vorchars. It's not going to continue to be on the pace that is currently at. So then your only struggle bus is going to be getting everything to um, be able to tear it up and level it up because you have like a tier three Vorch and can't go anywhere with it because of ship parts. So I'm curious to see where that ends up leading. I'm trying to upgrade some of these officers while also being attentive to my chat. I'll see if I have anybody that I just want to scale up real quick. I'll just go ahead and upgrade this because I need to get my mess hall upgraded. I probably need to add something like maneuvers to PVP, not something static like isolytics, something where combinations versus combination on top of everything else be a lot of work. I mean, they need to do something, but also at the same time, they need to simplify things because it's at the, at the core, this is still a mobile game. And they're expecting people to really dive in and know a lot. And they also need to find a way to simplify the game as well. The Dragon Blood Vile Currency or Avatar's Frames, the only thing you can buy? Yes. What about it? What about it? Now, if they, they could add some more, but this is going to be a multi-day SMS. So you might want to hold on to it and see. But that's what's in your ES right now. Sorry, let me... Finished getting Miss uh, Crusher here updated. And he really wish that banner was popping up so I knew how close I am to finishing that one. Like for me, like I don't even have a big issue with the pickle. My biggest issue with the pickle is that there's no free to play path announced this month. There, there will be one announced next month, but I hate that there's not one this month. But even if I had the pickle, I wouldn't want the pickle because I don't want another loop. I mean, Maybe I'm a spoiled little content creator here, but I really don't want a whole nother loop. I'm not in the mood for a whole nother loop. I'm just not. So even if I had the pickle, I can't see myself really doing it every day. I can't even see myself really engaging in it right now. I just, I don't feel like going through more grind in the game at the moment. So either way, I feel kind of okay with not having the pickle. I still don't know if Scope is going to give it to me to make a video about. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'm not going to buy it. But even if I had it, I still can't see myself investing a lot of time in it just because there's so much to do already. There's way too much going on. You know, and, and I think that it's refinery as a whole is not bad. I think the refinery is good. Again, we talk about things that kind of help with five star. The refinery on the pickle is decent. I would say the refinery is amazing, but it is a decent refinery that can help out. It's just too much to do. So, those are vials of positive energy, not dragon blood. Hey, dragon blood makes me very positive, Carissa. In fact, the number one way I become positive every day is with more dragon's blood. That's how I become positive. How do you get your positivity in? Ooh, should I upgrade Troy? I really never use her. I'm going to hold off on upgrading Troy. 
was very initially against the new loop. However, with the auto grinding feature turned on for the new loop, it gives me something to do with my idle ship slots. Well, see, that's my thing. I never have idle ship slots. I almost never have an idle ship. I'm always doing something. But again, it's just all about where you're at with your game, and there's not really a wrong answer here. I just wish they would clean up some of the older loops. It's one of the things that we praise them so much for with the X Borg, and they've gone and added all the time you save from X Borg has now been added back to the game between Voyager, your solo loops, your your pickle loop now. I mean, there's just too much to do for one singular person. You have to start cutting something short or devoting yourself to, you know, Star Trek Fleet Command. Will ship parts improve when Six Star comes out? Part of the ship part improvement was like the Voyager. So will it improve? Yeah, a little bit, but most of their improvements are not coming in the direct way of improvement. They're coming in like the roundabout way of improvement. You know, the Voyager is a big way to improve your ship part sourcing. But you got to get her all the way up there before it really starts paying off. So, all right, did finish that one. Cool. And go ahead and recall this. So, whoop, hold on. I'm going to swap you around. Got the wrong. We'll do one right there. Bam. Look at that. Perfection. Yeah, but come on, keep bringing your questions, guys. I'm, I'm happy to answer and happy to go with scope with anything I need to. So, what about independent credits? Too many officers using it to upgrade with the latest changes still too small? I mean, of course we need more independent credit. I mean, Marson, you're not going to struggle to find things that this game needs to make the game better for the average player. I'm not going to struggle to find things, right? So. so. be nice that the ship parts from Voyager kept giving G4 when it started giving G5. That's something that you kind of have to like carefully balance, right? Like, now you don't have to worry about that for a while, at least I don't. And that's also one of the intents of level locks because uh, you get to a certain point where Voyager starts stops paying out what you're looking for. I personally am in a, a wonderful spot where I'm getting Interceptor and Explorer parts and it really helps me out. But yeah. So, it's all good. It's all gravy, right? It's all gravy. Go hit this real quick. Be nice if ship parts. Oh, I read that. They completely flipped out their old line of levels. 25, 35, 100, too much to do. Now it's 35 plus, too much to do. Well, we've also reached a point now, and I don't know if this is a good or bad thing for newer players, but you're not going to see as much content coming out for 20s and 30s anymore because they've kind of filled up all those spots right now. You know, that's why the pickle starts at level 40 plus. There's not really room to put the pickle anywhere in the 30s anymore in terms of leveling. You've already got the Amalgam. You've got the Mantis, the Defiant, the Voyager, the Talios, the Titan A, the uh, Franklin A, the Fisha, the technically the ISS Jellyfish. There's just too much in that area all, already, so they kind of have to go 40 plus now. So. Yes, yeah, sub. I know. I know. This is one of the reasons I had such a big complaint about this month is that it's one thing to release a new mechanic. It's another to release a mechanic going and know that you're going to be breaking breaking the game as in you're, you're putting 99% of your players in a position where they can never have a chance of winning. So, right? Go ahead and drop back on another node. Blowing a G5 ship over the G3 ship. Yeah, I've seen those. I mean, but again, like when people are posting those in my Discord, I'm not surprised because I told y'all this was going to happen. Like I I specifically said, you're going to start seeing this type of imbalance. And now it's, uh, we wait as they fix it because they have a plan. And that doesn't change the fact that you're going to have months of pain points for some people before it balances back out. It's kind of like Charles says, there was a time where PvP crewing actually took thought and strategy, and you had to balance between going full-on anti-explorer, or you had to go generic, or you had to go critical. There was a time where PvP required strategy and thought to consistently be a successful uh, PvPer. And now, I mean, it's, it's literally whatever the state-of-the-art crew is right now, and everything else has now essentially become worthless. I guess how many I'm not I, this account does not level up much because I want to stay where the majority of players are the majority of players are nowhere near 49 the majority of players are 
between 35 and 45 and i'm right on the top of that so that's why my main account does not go above you know too high now i do have an account in the 50s just like i have an account in the 30s etc so i can you know see the gameplay of different places but the main one sticks around where the majority are oh please they put it at 40 because they want to pressure players up that's part of it hungry but i don't it's not like you're coming with this extreme revelation they've been wanting people to level up for a long time now which is why the economy is better the economy is not being improved just because people want to be improved they improve the three star and four star refineries to encourage you to level up quicker but i mean it's also doesn't negate the fact where you get things aren't mutually exclusive it's also still true that they don't have anywhere to put in a lot of new content because they've loaded the 30s with that content both of these things are true you know they're, they're not mutually exclusive are there really more people playing now than before i mean uh can't really say that specifically because i don't know what the, the numbers were four years ago right but there are a couple hundred thousand active players now that number has not really dipped this year and when they launched new servers i was actually sharing this in my discord yesterday like server 97's got like 2800 people on it uh, server 98 around the same server 100 102 etc and i think it was uh the newest one 103 had over 5,000 players on it and like people can argue well there's alts and things like that sure but 3,000 people are not alts right this game is amazing at new user acquisition they excel at it because the whole idea is to you know get new players turn some of those into high spenders and then continue to launch new services just to repeat the pattern so while we do have people that quit absolutely and i never try to tell somebody that their experience of their server having people quitting is false because it's not at the same time they are adding in a ton of players all the time yeah hypo server 20 still has about 3,000 active accounts but about 1700 of those is are daily so but they're all on every single day for the rules of having multiple accounts you can have one account per device so if you've got a phone a tablet a pc that's three so. you wish they'd populate older servers like 16. i mean they've done it in the past they've definitely done it in the past server 17 opened up semi recently but obviously they focus on the newer servers the most Do you think their claims of player retention being the best in the business are legit? For this type of game, a free-to-play mobile game, they do have very high retention. Keep in mind that retention is not based on a pure number of like a re retained 4 million people. It's a percentage. And they definitely have a very good retention percentage. It's also because of the demographic they target, right? Most of y'all who are listening to this right now, we go at 300 people on this random, you know, uh, Sunday night stream that wasn't announced or planned. Most of y'all are between the ages of 30 and 50. You've got jobs, stable income, probably families. So you're not going out as much. The demographic they target is far more likely to stick around as well. So now I know there's gonna be at least three or four people that say, well, I'm not in that. Sure, but majority of this game is gonna fall in that age range. Also gonna fall into a diehard franchise that most people love. And if they don't love it, cause there are a lot of new players who join the game who don't watch Star Trek, we're going to get tied in because of the other aspect. So. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Who fires first in combat? Usually who initiates the combat, Sleevington. All right. I have got to track what I need to do because I'm blanking. All right, I got to finish pulling these. I did the Q's trials. I need to go do Factional Legions. I'm going to send you out here real quick. Um, I used to doing these Romulan systems. I'm going to do that one. Go do that one. All right, David. Enjoy, man. It was great to see you. No life, Sag. Hey, I'm in that. I love this, though. Like, I love hanging out with y'all. I mean, I was even... Obviously, I'm not in character when I'm doing it, but I'll stream like Starfield in my Discord just to hang out with people and look at a new game and everything. I love the community that we have. And we, we most of us can agree that we're here because of the community. Oh, great critical. We're here because of the community. The community is amazing. And, I, and that Scopely doesn't ruin that, right? Scopely's never ruined the community aspect of the game. 
Ooh, I got a sneeze. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh, man. You just sold your house? Hey, Shane, congratulations. That's a life win. Did you get Baldur's Gate 3 yet? I'm not. Um, I do have money set aside for it, thanks to donations from chat. But uh, Starfield has currently got my little bit of, you know, attention that I can throw to something. And I'll admit, I'm loving Starfield. I can't wait till they add in some Star Trek mods so I can have, you know, the Defiant or the Voyager as my ship. But Starfield's kind of taking me at the moment. Yeah. But I do really look forward to playing Baldur's Gate 3 because every bit I've seen of it is a fantastic game and I've never played a game of that style. So I am looking forward to it. But I just, I can't do multiple games at one time. I don't know if y'all are like me. I can't really juggle several if i'm going to do something if it's a read a book if it's play a game i'm going to be doing one and that's just kind of how it is for me oh definitely on a pc uh, hypo i don't i'm not really a console player not to go all pc master race on y'all but if you have a decent computer a computer will always be a better experience i definitely prefer a computer experience you're single and have no kids. Literally, all I'll do is work and play games. Well, then you're very welcome here, Yellow. You're very welcome here. And hey, Andrew, same thing, man. Like, I have so many great communities. Like, the reason I, I log into Server 97 all the time, I love Server 97 because I actually really enjoy the Alliance. I really enjoy just hanging out with them. So, uh, Brett, there is one research that uses multi phasic credits, just one. Yeah, I mean, Server 97, it's just me starting over another account. It's really not the big of a deal. But I genuinely just enjoy that group of people that it makes me want to log in every day. Once upon a time, PC was a better experience? No, it's PC still is significantly better than consoles. Now, are consoles better than low-end PCs? Sure. But if we're talking about just an actual gaming computer, gaming computers are significantly more powerful with more titles, better experience than consoles. But again, it, it depends on what you're comparing it to. You go pull up some $600 gaming laptop from Best Buy compared to a, you know, a $600 console, the console is gonna just demolish it in experience. You're gonna really enjoy that console more. It just depends on what you're comparing it to. You're, you're not a diehard Star Trek fan. I like the game for the content community. The long form base building progress games are great. Oh, I'm the same thing. Way, same way, Sleevington. I also enjoy this. And hey, Trevor, thank you for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's time to be a commander. I appreciate your support. So, the game just needs to be modded to fix them for PCs nowadays because they want to make consoles seem better. I mean, my PC is going to look better and perform better than any console. But I'm also talking about my PC. Come here, I'm a content creator. So like I have a lot of money invested in my computer so I can do my editing and things like that. So it's kind of like Joseph, like the video card that I have was one, a gift from a, I don't want to call it a game developer, but someone who works for a game developer gifted me my card. My graphics card costs more than an Xbox. Now, thankfully it was a gift from somebody and I really appreciate them. Very generous gift, obviously. My graphics card costs more than an entire console does. Like PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox, either one. And that's just a unique opportunity that I had. And if you're willing to invest money into a proper PC build, it is going to be better than a console, but it depends on what that is. You're a level 60 server 21 player, way overdue joining. Help me improve my play. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Trevor. And, um, Obviously, at your level, there's anything that you need help with. I'm more than happy to help you out. Obviously, I don't show a lot of five-star stuff here on the screen, but be between the 60s that I already have in my Discord everywhere and my own account up there, more than happy to help you with that stuff as well. So. You played the original Warcraft way back in the day on a gateway running Windows 3.1 before my time, but I did play Warcraft 3 as a kid, and I thought that was a great game. Hey, Charles, good to see you. To see you. Time to get back to work. Thanks for the entertainment. You're welcome, Slevington. And I hope you have a great rest of your shift, man. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your shift. We'll get this in. I think this account's kind of done for the day. I think this one's kind of done. 
me to go do some other ones though, but because I still have more. Wrong one. What is it? Is this one? Let me see. Bam. Yeah, we can we can throw that one on the screen. Make this a little bigger. Sorry, I'm adjusting um, one of the accounts so I can throw it on the screen. There we go. To get my grinds in. Starter Fluke has the best retention scores in the industry of any game in the universe, period. Nothing is as sticky as the industry tournament of Star Trek. Yeah, I know what David said, then, bro. And he's not, I don't think that's a lie. I don't think that's like a, a gotcha statement or anything. I think it's true. I mean, this game does have very good retention. And beyond that, it, uh, it also caters to a demographic that's far more likely to have that uh, as well. Always with a question. Will they ever update the 10 minute, four hour and one day chest? Um, honestly, I don't know, Hypo. No clue. Have we asked for it? Absolutely. It just kind of goes back to that priority list I talked about. And you know, obviously that's probably a low priority item. But I'm sure at some point, yeah. They have gotten various updates before. You know, one of the updates they got was when they did the Bajoran faction. For those who remember, there's a Bajoran favor that allows you to get another chest and, and pull or a better pull to that chest. And that added some pretty nice stuff to it. A lot of people grabbed that favor. Every now and then they'll add something. When Battle.net came out? Yeah, I remember Battle.net as a kid. I remember Battle.net. See, I'm not that young. I'm not that young. Did you see, you know, kind of enemy engines in Starfield, board them and steal them? Yep. I actually do that, Looney. I actually have. I mean, maybe if y'all are down, I'll, I'll stream it again in my Discord. I, I'm not really high energy in there. I'm kind of more relaxed. But I actually have two ships that I've stolen that are now part of my fleet. So, Yeah. What tiers should you take a Nova or do you want me to tell you what tiers my Novas are? Would that give you an idea based on mine? But yeah, I love that feature, Looney. I, I think that, again, I'm also only messing around with the small ships, the A-class ships in Starfield. I want to see what the bigger ones are like. But yeah, I mean, I really think that Starfield is my kind of game. I really don't think that I'd be entertaining if I was streaming it because I like to just sit there, relax, play the game, enjoy, like really dive into certain things. But it's um, definitely got a lot of things that make Rev very happy as a gamer. And I can see me having Starfield with the same amount of like play hours as Fallout, especially when mods start to roll through. So we'll see, right? All right, let me get these done. And to answer the question for the individual who's asking about the Novas, so my Novas, um, keep in mind that I don't really need them too crazy, but my highest Nova is tier three, tier three. And that gets me six of the G5 nodes because a tier three Nova is, you know, I'll just tell you what it is. Like my warp range on a tier three Nova is 315. You know, it depends on how deep you're honestly trying to go. Now, I definitely know people with way higher Novas, but the thing I love about the Nova is as soon as it gets out, it's the best miner you have by a lot. The biggest advantage to upgrading the Nova is getting some better protected cargo numbers and stuff. You know, for example, that my protected cargo on a tier one Nova, it can haul 14 million, only 246,000 protected with my cargo crew on it. My tier three Nova, only 200,000 protected. You definitely want to try to get that leveled up a little bit. But other than that, unless you just have a bunch of Revduce pirates running around your server, huge advantage to just having it and then being able to have the insane warp range, good mining speed, and et cetera, push that Nova out there. Just got to watch out for all the Revduces who uh, will come OPC hit you if you don't have a lot of uh, upgrades for that PC. Battle.net came out when Warcraft 2 was out. You said you started Warcraft 3, which was way later. I did, but I also played Battle.net. Like, I remember Battle.net was where Defense of the Ancients, which would become League of Legends, started. It was custom maps, and I remember playing that. I used to love it, because I used to get the Demon Hunter in Warcraft 3 on those maps, and I would just spam it with agility, 
and his attack speed and his damage went through the roof. And he would just start going, move, he would attack so fast, he just one shot everything. Remember that. Good times. Good times. Lovely Starfield so much is not even funny. Yeah, uh, my Starfield has a ton of glitches, by the way. Ton of glitches. Had one glitch where I kept falling through the floor, had to hit a reload. So as much as I love Starfield, it is definitely not a perfect game. Be very clear. It is far from perfect. It needs a lot of fixes. But I still love the concept of the game and hopefully it, you know, gets cleared up. Fixed up. Cleared up and fixed up. This is a Bethesda game. There'll be lots of bugs till the modders fix it. It's true. But Bethesda makes great stories. And that's one thing with Bethesda. Like, even this month, we talk about pauses for this month. The Lower Decks art has once again provided a great story if you like to read the missions. But, yeah, that was a thing with all Bethesda games is great stories, but maybe a little bit buggy on the playthrough. Before Battle.net, it was a direct dial-up modem connection for those type of games. Before my time, but I appreciate learning the history. Appreciate learning the history. You went somewhat crazy in your Nova Tier 10? Wow, Chad. Don't see many Tier 10 Novas. Usually people don't take the Nova that high because they plan on investing in the Level 58 Miners instead. But there's not really a wrong answer here. So... I'll get these in what is my event today probably just another hostile hunt one of the joys of being low level is all your events are basically hostile hunting all the events are hostile hunt events the least buggy bethesda game i would i would say for bethesda games that have launched it's definitely a low uh, it's very good for bethesda very good for bethesda any advice on finding a new alliance mine's too small and it feels like it's holding me back it, it could be chad for me, I personally try to be in the top five and finding a group that likes to do what you do. Like my group does a lot of armadas, a lot of PVP, OPC hunting. So we fit in real well together. But you know, finding a group that has similar gameplay that you do, especially a group that'll do a lot with you. So if you like raiding, a group that does a lot of raiding, so y'all can do that together. Armadas and even to a degree, PVE. Because that can determine what territories y'all are going after and stuff like that. Yeah. Direct dial games are tough. My parents would always answer the phone and mess up the sink. Damn. Those parents. Those parents. Who needs them? Who needs them? It's bad that with Voyager Tier 3, it's so, uh, so small cargo. Yeah. Tuvok is big. That's why Tuvok comes in. Really helps with that. Tuvok and Neelix are must-haves for your, uh, your Enterprise. Your Voyager dealings. Very, very important to have. How you doing, Patrick? Good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, Chad, uh, if you are on a specific server, you might even be able to go to some of the discords and just ask around if we have anybody on those discords who are from your server. I don't know where you play, but it never hurts to ask. Come on down here. Gonna take my level 46 miners all the way to the top. Your level 46 miners, Shane? Tier 3 with Tuvok and Research gets around 240k. Yep. Tier 3 is when it finally feels like the Voyager isn't really a letdown, which is the same thing with the Talios and the Defiant, by the way. They're all kind of the same in uh, what level they finally take to get where they feel decent. Where they feel decent. I get that one. Just trying to get all my grinds in. Now I got a bunch of interceptors left. All right. I wake my parents up at 2 a.m. with calls from friends down the mode to play Doom or Command and Conquer. At 2 in the morning, I'd be irate as a parent. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Got the full Kim unlocks so three days until Voyager goes in the oven. Haven't missed a day yet. Congrats, Looney. Congratulations. 
We celebrate all of our players' wins. I think that's a big part of being a community. We celebrate each other's wins. I love that. Got the full Kim unlock, so three days until Voyager goes in the oven. Do you get the Ransom SLB on your Office 14 account? I do not. I do not. Uh, that SLB will not show up until I think 20 plus. So if I pop out real quick, one, I'll have to collect leg day SMS. But as you'll see here, I have the positivity, I have some ticket events, and then I have a hostile hunt, but negative on the SMS. I got this. And this is the Armada event that's currently going on for y'all. But basically for low levels, they just throw them regular hostile events. I don't necessarily know if that's a bad thing, but I would say at this point in the game, you're learning so much. It probably is best that the events are pretty generic. Because you're still, I mean, most players are still learning the game at 14, let alone know what's best and ooh chin shard yes we love getting chin shards working on maxing out chin on this account and didn't get one there i had to say something positive which guarantees i don't get it next and yep i shouldn't have said anything i got a chin shard and that was the only one i got shouldn't have said anything positive all right so hit that one and check my daily All right. Yeah, there we go. The only Dobbs available in Louisiana were in New Orleans. Always a long distance call. I got in such trouble running up a $500 phone bill. Yeah, my parents wouldn't have even got in trouble. I would have just had been found in the morgue. Like directly in the morgue. I wouldn't even have been found murdered. I would just have been found in the morgue. Yeah. Level 4 3 and find none of my ships are really strong enough. Charles, did you rush up and level too much? Where are your ships at? If you don't mind sharing, where are your ships at? Let's see. I already got that leveled up. I want to go 15 plus here, aren't I? Then I'll just have to have good shield discipline because then people are going to be like, I rated Rev. And I don't really care if I lose resources at that level. It's just more of having to hear people. Like, I rated Rev. You have a maxed auger. Have you picked up an uncommon yet? You should. Uh, I usually recommend people, uh, people pick up at least one of the uncommon. I like having them. Uh, I don't think that pushing all the way to 46 is a needed strategy. I think picking up a 42 really helps out, and it's pretty useful. So, okay, back to the game of Christmas. I couldn't be 35 solos, but with your guidance, just blap to 50 epic. Hell yeah, Jason. Congrats. That's awesome. What cruise did you use, if you don't mind me asking? Congratulations on your big punch up. Game for the Armada event. Heats my alliance, Randy. So now I should be able to buy my final tactical course with the research tomorrow. Very nice, Gold Dragon. Congratulations to you on that. Time for me, uh, uh, call in four hours. Hey, good night, Marcia. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope you had a good time. Appreciate you coming to the stream, even though it's later than normal for a Sunday because we had other things kind of going on. But I appreciate you being here. Can I skip all the 12 32 ships? You can, Burnt. I don't think there's anything wrong with picking one up, but you can't. Like, you don't have to have any of the 32s. The 34s can be your primaries. Plus, you get other ships at 35, like the Talios and getting your Defiant, and those are going to carry you longer anyway than the 32s would. So here, get more of our Battle Pass points. And the travel times here are a pain. So just trying to get as much of this done. Look, 45 seconds to fly all the way across the map. It's one, one of the few negatives about going back in time to these older accounts or these lower-level accounts is having to deal with that, y'all. Having to deal with that. Hey, Tony, what's up, man? Good to see you. 32s are awesome for scrapping. Uh, strongly disagree with that, Charles. I do not recommend scrapping the 32s. They're not very efficient. But if you're, if you're using them to invest in leaderboards, it makes sense. So... We have level 14, move his base into our territory, and no one can figure out how. Any idea? I have no clue, honestly, JM. That shouldn't be possible. That shouldn't be possible. He wasn't in your alliance? There you go. 
hit this one. Because I am also trying to level up this Tala. Level 14 to 25. Their two BPs are easy to grind out. They are. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely build them and scrap them later on if you want to. But the 26s are the most valuable to scrap for materials. 28s are best for ship parts. And then the 34s are best if you just want to save time, but acknowledge that you're going to take a loss in your conversion efficiency. 32s usually aren't even in the conversation for me. So, You know if when you get the double XO bug, they actually double up? It's a display error mark. It does not double up. It's a sadly, it's a display error. I wish it did double up. That'd be very useful. So... Go ahead and collect. Let's see who's been buying. Vlad and Malice and Nader. Vlad, Malice, and Nader. All right, got that. This ship's about to blow up soon, but I need to keep on grinding. I don't even remember what my um, others are at. But I plan on when I am ready to level up, I'm going to try to make it all the way to 17 or 18. Start working on my specialty ships. Your alliance enemy is crying his eyes out in GC that there's no way he lost as much as he as his claim. Uh, what server is this? That, you're on 20 with me, Tony. But who's crying? Oh boy. Alrighty. Yeah, I see it. No, I didn't know uh, any of that was happening. So, we suggest 43 and we go 44, stay 43 until I get bigger. I mean, I, if you feel like you're not able to complete what you're doing, then you should stay where you're at. Ops 35 don't have a rare faction ship. Or you mean an epic faction ship picked up the Defiant Madness in the last event store. Should I even buy with the Augur? I would say that you want to have at least one 34 epic. You want to have at least one of them. That's conducive to your best possible gameplay. You want at least one of them. Some people end up still getting multiples. Definitely want at least one. I got away teams done. We got some silly missions. I got, I got so many missions to do on both accounts. For all three accounts, all 10 accounts, all 100 accounts. Yes, ma'am. One of your videos that taught me how to get those cores. Thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome, Gold uh, Dragon. Happy to help out. Happy to help out. This guy, I think, juicy on it. Nah. Nah. Yeah, Joseph, one thing that I do enjoy is that I don't have any struggles with solo armadas. And I don't have any struggles in getting my turn-ins. Because with my ships for my level, I'm very easy or easily completing all of them. And that has a lot of benefit to me. So that helps me get a lot of my materials. Thanks to the Bajoran store. Helps with officer sourcing, transporter pattern sourcing. So that's really big for me. Same thing with the Strange New Worlds refinery. I've got all the rare Strange New World officers maxed out now. And that's critical. I mean, that's, that's a big deal for me. So... Yeah, I think that all this has value. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and speed up some of these repairs, get back into this grind. Wrong button. And if y'all are looking to just kind of like start the game over, you wanna come chill out, you come join us on server 97. There's a lot of good, uh, fun people here. You are high research on your main? I am, but again, that's because I don't rush, Matt. I say it all the time and I'm not like trying to say it in a yeah, sure way. No, I mean, I really could have been in the 50s a long time ago, but I purposely slowed my play down because I want to be one of the best at my level. And even then, I'm not even in the top 10 for level 46s. I'm not even in the top 10. So I, I've got ways to go depending on what my goals are. Yeah, I'm in the... I'm in like the top 40 for level 46 is in power. 
The strongest level 46 in the game is 86.9 million power. So 10 million higher than what I'm currently sitting at. So I'm not even the highest 46 in the game. And I do have good research. But that means somebody's got way better research than me. Way better research than me. You know, and my ships are my focus. But at the same time, my base research is really lacking. My base research is really lacking. Um, my outlaw research still has got plenty that needs to get caught up on. You know, but I'm still very good for my level. I'm very proud of that. But, yeah. Who's the strongest level 49? The strongest level 49 is a player on server 195, 115 million power. 115 million power. Wonder how much of that 10 mil power is primes? I mean, the one that has 10 mil more than me is definitely going to have way more primes than I do. For sure. But also, I know that, like, I have, I have plenty of researches that I can pull up that I just have not done. And it's not even that I can't afford them. I just haven't done them. I mean, look at my away team streak. You reach here. I haven't even finished the minings of the Graviton Shields. You see here, I haven't finished all the piercing ones. You see over here, I've got the Armada ones I haven't done yet. So, I mean, plenty there that still needs to get done. I'm even into my, like, station tree. I've done all those, but I still, like, got all these that add up I don't have yet. Got all these that I'm only at the early tiers to that a lot of people my level have focused more on. And I haven't even gotten into any of this. And there are plenty of people who have gone into this part of the station tree already. I haven't even touched any of this. There's my defense ones. These are my defense platform health, my critical ones. That's uh, for 50. So, I mean, there's plenty that I don't have. Oh, sorry. I have my level 16 screen on. Sorry. Here. There you go. So, anyway... Like my away teams research, you see that I don't have on the main account. I don't have even some of these done. Notoriety's done. I don't have all the piercings done. Now this next piercing one would be another 20% boost. This one would be a 10% boost. You go into my combat tree. You immediately start running into little arrows because I don't have primes. I don't have that prime. Come over here. You see I haven't even gotten any of these. So I haven't done any of that. Come into my station tree. Still don't have any of the... I mean, I skipped this crap. Because, I mean, what good is it doing me? But it does help out when it comes to your overall power maxing all this out. I'm still pretty low on getting these done. And these are ones I'm debating on do I do this weekend. Not fleet readiness. Who on that one? Uh, but you see, I haven't even done... I haven't gotten into any of this yet. So... There's plenty that I need to add to the list. And see, I still got territory that needs to get done, especially the end of this territory. I've only started the basics here. So I'm, I'm pretty good for my level, but there's definitely plenty that I can do. And it's just how much do I want to dedicate myself to becoming the strongest 46? I thought that I was within a couple of million of being the strongest 46. I'm not even, I'm 10 million away. So I might just be happy to be really strong for my level and start leveling up. Matt says, barely scratched uh, G4 research, concentrated on efficiency, worked on repairs. Yeah, everybody has their own goals they set, right? You know, it's, um, I just think it's really cool to be able to say, like, if you were Lantis at rank 49, 115 mil power, say, hey, I'm the strongest level 49. I think that's really cool, even if it was temporary. The strongest 47 in the game is 93 million power on server 75. So I think it's just really cool to kind of be able to be like, oh, that's where I'm at. And it gives me a goal to work towards. It gives me a goal to work towards. Well, Tony, the reason I'm not 49 is not because I can't do it. It's I don't want to be too far above where most of my players are. So. Love the Interstellar Faction Emissary. 100% rep bonus and super helpful to those big crawls. Into the Monovine Tree. Best only had one of the previous to unlock. Yeah, the Monovine tree has got some good into it. I won't see anything in that for a while because I'm not participating in that content. But when I do eventually get it, when they announce the path next month, yeah, there's some good stuff in that tree. 
Nice, Chief. Now, I am curious where I rank in resources rated for my level. I haven't even thought to look that up. I am in the top 100-ish. So, not that great. I was hoping for better. Level 30 never got the disco. I'm really missing out on anything. Absolutely, Andrew. You should 100% get the disco and get it maxed. Absolutely. The disco is really useful for summoning, but also, more importantly, level 40 plus gives you almost 100 days in speed ups a week in your refinery. Yeah, it's okay, Tony. Yeah, it's, um, because if I want content to like show people the 50s, I've got uh, other accounts that I can show people higher level content. But there's definitely something visual, though, about like being a player and following a content creator. And if you see them and all you see is level 55 and there are a million levels above you, you automatically go, well, they can't really understand my game experience, right? So I just try to, you know, stay around where a lot of my players are so I can, I don't want them to feel like I can't give them advice. Off 19, can I get the North Star without spending? Only through event stores, which we just had one last month, Super Villain, and there's not gonna be another one for another few months. So to get it now would require spending. And it's kinda like I wish I never participated in the Mantis when it first came out. Yeah, the Mantis, starting off with the Mantis was rough. The Mantis is definitely better now. But when it first came out, that was rough for everybody involved. Yeah, no problem, Super Villain. I appreciate that you are here. I really am. The fact that, uh, you know, we had 300 people come through on a night where this wasn't announced. You know, Sundays are going to kind of be in turmoil during the football season. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. The Spore Jump of Disco is also fun as it allows you to get into the actual fun part sooner. Yeah, I mean, I do love summoning a gold. And if you want to use it, you can even use it for stuff like that. So, recall... Guess I had the server filter click. You were feeling good about yourself. Hey, I was feeling good for you too, Chief. I was proud of you. Proud of you. You get 47s with your tier nine Mantis and I didn't buy it. Nice. Usually buying in this game is you getting access to something earlier. Sometimes it's getting access to something that nobody has access to, but usually it's for getting access to stuff earlier. So. here and i haven't even checked all the rest of the scores to today's games i really am excited about week one i thought it was a lot of fun obviously my team won so that puts me in a better mood starting off one and oh is helpful especially when you have three teams in your division that started off one and oh you definitely got to keep up but the giants are losing to dallas which makes me sad and let's see eagles beat the pats rams whoop the seahawks Dolphins ended up pulling it out against the Chargers. I need to go back and watch that game. What's the good ones then? Your server 20 friend, Alistair here. Well, what's up, Alistair? How are you? North Star is totally a great low-level warship. Agreed. I have nothing negative to say about the North Star. It's just, you know, regular folks might struggle to get it. But other than that, I mean, it's a great ship. Oh, man. 500,000. That's a lot for this level. That's a lot. And let's see, daily goals, there's that one. There we go. Collect. Grants are worth getting? Meh. I mean, if you're really into PvP, all three of these officers are worth getting. If you're not into PvP, then not really. Depends on if you're into PvP. If you're into PvP, then yes. If you're not, then no. All right, that's a little tough, but let's go see. Let's go see how we do. Let's see how we do. Really high amongst 45s, like top 30-ish. Hey, I think that's great, bro. Level 35, working on my Augur Enterprise, try lock Is there anything else I should be focused on? Making sure that you've done your Vidar, you max it out, you're getting the Talios. The special ships. Special ships in the Bajoran faction are going to be the big thing for level 35+. plus. So. That's going to be the big one. Okay, y'all, I need to go make sure that my daughter's in bed. Uh, obviously, Sunday night, a little bit different, but I appreciate all those who come and hang out. Thank you. We'll have video tomorrow. I will go and let you know one of the videos tomorrow 
It's going to be about Star Trek Infinite, new game coming out. Really excited about it. Now it has this release date, and I did sign an NDA with that company, so I get to work with them, and I'm excited about that happening. So I'll be able to fill all y'all in, and um, again, excited to see what all is going down. I appreciate all of y'all. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Join the Discord if you haven't already, so you can message me more. And yes, every single one of you are definitely encouraged to shoot me a message. I try to respond to every message that I can. I love y'all. Catch you on the next one, which is tomorrow. And I'm out. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.